Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of What to Eat. Today we're at Sushi Land. We're gonna have dinner over here, try it out. It's a local spot, thanks to uh, Johanna and uh, Mark for recommending this restaurant. We can't wait to try this out. Let's see what they have inside. Alright guys, we finally got our food. Now we're gonna start trying. Now we got the miso soup. This one comes with the chicken katsu meal. You can see the seaweed and the tofu. And a nice broth. Let's try it out. It's a pretty solid miso soup, not too salty, which is a plus. Perfect starter for the meals. So this is their chicken katsu meal. Comes with a side of rice, salad, and a whole lot of uh, chicken katsu slices. It also comes with a side of a uh, katsu sauce. There's a lot of chicken in here, quite surprisingly. Okay, gonna dip it in the sauce, see how it is. Cheers. The sauce has some sour bite to it. The chicken is really crispy right now. Even though uh, we had it for about 10 minutes, it's still crispy. I'm excited to see how their sauce is for the salad. They use romaine lettuce for this. That one is a pretty smooth sauce, quite tangy and pretty creamy. I like that one. The katsu is very, very crispy. I like the juiciness of it inside. And the portions are pretty big for a plate, around $14. That's a plus. So now we're gonna try out the three different rolls that we ordered. So we'll try out with this roll first. So right now I can see that there's a crab in here, some tuna with salmon on top. It's glazed with some of that unagi sauce. Okay, cheers. Mm. That is very, very 
filling. And I love the spiciness of that sushi. So I'm not big into uh, raw sushi, but uh, I can really uh, taste the freshness of that tuna. Give it another shot. Wow, that's really solid. Very, very tasty. So next we're gonna try this middle sushi right here. Looks like there's a shrimp tempura inside. Again, it's drizzled with the uh, unagi sauce. So you can see that chunks of crab meat, shrimp tempura, which also looks like tuna on top. Let's try it out. Mm. Comparing with other sushi places, they really stuff their sushi. There's a lot of meat inside. Wow. Just a couple slices, I'm getting full already. This one is a pretty basic roll. It doesn't stand out, it's, uh, but it is very filling. So far, I give the nod to this sushi right now. This is more spicier and more flavorful. For our next one, we're gonna try out this salmon tempura roll. It also comes with some veggie tempura on the side. Let's try out the tempura. This looks like a green bean. Mm, very tasty and flavorful once again. Perfectly fried and a light coating on the outside. That was really good guys. And now we're gonna try the salmon tempura. This one is huge. You can see the salmon tempura, avocado, crab, drizzled with some sauce. This one only has five slices, although it's very big. Look at that. How am I gonna fit this in? Mm. Right now I'm being more repetitive. Again, it's uh, very filling. Overall, the sushi doesn't really blend all together. It, every bite is different. It, it comes with the avocado, shrimp tempura, and uh, salmon tempura. Overall, I think you would need some soy sauce with this one because it's too dry. It's a very big sushi, but yeah, not as flavorful as the other ones. Before we end this video, I just wanted to give my uh, review of this restaurant. We really enjoyed the chicken katsu and the hot night uh, roll. That one was very spicy and uh, very tasty as well. The other ones were a bit basic in my opinion. The summer roll and also the uh, salmon tempura roll. Those were just, uh, I wish I could have had a little bit more sauce to it. But uh, I definitely come back here to try out the other rolls. They're very big and uh, very filling. Overall, I'd probably give this restaurant a 7.5. It's a nice little place, although we had to wait a little bit for the our orders, about 20 or so minutes. Anyways, we were still full, so that's always a plus. Only five tables in this restaurant, so I recommend uh, calling ahead of time so that you don't have to wait that long. Thanks again for watching another episode of What to Eat. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the notification button, and comment down below. Till next time.